Welcome, welcome, welcome along to our PLR.me questions and answers call for December 11th, 2021. Now, uh, just let me know that you can hear me, that you can see me, and that you can, uh, well, that I, I'm available in stereo. Now, I'm just... Uh, I'm just cutting off my stream there. So I think we should be live and everybody should be able to see me now. Welcome to all of those who are watching me live. I, of course, I'm Richard Butler, the Director of Education here at PLR.me. Um, so just while we wait for people to join, um, do just say hello. Let me know where you're from, um, where you're watching in from. It's always great to know. And if you're watching the replay, also let me know. And of course, let me know that you can hear me. I think you can see me uh but just let me know and then i will tell you what we're going to cover in this particular uh questions and answers because it's something really important good to go okay connect trend do do drop your name in there connect trend because i hate calling you connect trend because you are not just connect trend um you may notice there's something different about me today and can you guess what it is okay you're right I'm wearing a jumper today. That's what it is, or a jersey. Uh, that's what is different. I know you were looking at me saying, there's something different about Richard this week. And it is because I have a jumper with a little hood on it. Normally I just have a t-shirt. Uh, hey Rob, thank you so much for that. Okay, so today what I want to talk about is a question that comes up so many times when I talk to clients or when they reach out to us on our help desk, et cetera. And that is, how do I make the content unique? Because this is the big question that people have. But what if there's another coach using the content? What if I do this? What if I do that? So I want to show you six ingredients that we're going to mix up together and we're going to use to make our content unique. Now, the first thing is, don't stress over, will somebody find out that I'm using this content and it's from PLR.me? Um, because the thing is that, how many times have you read an article and then found it from another coach or found it from another source? Well, maybe you have, but maybe that's because it's been a guest article on CNET or on uh, CNN or Fox News or whatever it may be. Maybe somebody has written a guest article and they've put a copy of their content on that particular site. But the but the big question I know that you have is, yeah, but okay, that's that's okay. I understand that celebrities might write uh, guest articles for news outlets, et cetera. But what about me? I publish an article and then somebody says, hey, I found that on somebody else's website. Well, first of all, let's be realistic and think about the chances of that happening. Because when I read an article, I don't go off looking for an hour, two hours on the internet to see whether that article is 100% original or did somebody else write it. When I buy an, uh, an e-book, I don't go looking to see whether that information is somewhere else. Now, I remember, let me take you back to my, to my younger years. When I was in college, I did one year of philosophy. And I don't remember who the philosopher was, but I remember we did have a philosophy lecture um about there was a philosopher who said that there is no more original thought that everything is a variation of something that's already been published so you know this is the fact that there's been so much published that people just make ideas their own now do you see where we're going there to make things your own so you have the basis of an article and you have to make it your own. Let me give you an analogy. Have you ever gone into the supermarket and you buy uh, a pre-packed salad or a pre-made salad? And it's a nice salad, but you say, you know, I'd like to put some raisins in there, maybe some apples and olives. I really like olives and a bit of chicken. And suddenly the original salad that you purchased is an amazing creation. And all your friends go, wow, you're amazing at creating these salads. And you say, yeah. But you took the basis of the salad and you made it your own. 
So that's what you want to do with plr.me content. I mean, let's talk about the six ingredients. And I'm going to talk to you about a, a number of things today. Um, the six key ingredients are great content. Check, you have plr.me. We have great content. We've been in existence over 13 years now. And we have, at the last count, it was well over 15,000 pieces of content. So there's something there for you, and it is great content. But the second thing you need to do is have a well-defined niche. So what is your niche, okay? What is the, the, the target that you're trying to, um, uh, trying to work with? So let me give you an example. One of my main uh, niches is um, teaching or coaching executives who are uh, speaking English in their day-to-day -day jobs, but they are not native speakers. And I help them gain more confidence I help them gain a wider range of vocabulary so that they can succeed and get promoted. Now, I'm very clear on the niche. I don't work with um, school kids. I don't work with beginners. I work with executives who have a good level of English and they want to fine tune it and become masters of the language. Now, I'm going to use that example to show you what I did with some of our content. I've already, uh, you know, I produced a video to show how I actually did this. And you can see that at plr.me forward slash videos. So the first thing is a well-defined niche because it breaks my heart when I talk to people and they say, well, I help everybody. I mean, if you download the content, let's say there's a, a book on time, an ebook on time management. If you just call it time management for everybody, I'm not going to buy that. But if it was time management for uh, mid-level executives who want to get promoted, suddenly that becomes really, really interesting because it's more specific. Now, the third ingredient that you must have is a specific objective of what does the content do? Now, you might be asking, well, what do you mean by what does the content do? I mean, what do you want to achieve with this piece of content? Because if you're if you're familiar with PLR.me, you know that we have articles, that we have reports and ebooks, but we also have affirmations, which are reflective pieces of text or questions. We have PowerPoint slide decks. We have lead magnets. Uh, we have email sequences. We have... Uh, wallpapers and inspirational images. And each one of those pieces of content will play a particular purpose in your business. So the purpose of an article, well, first of all, it depends what I do with the article. And I'm gonna show you how you can how you can rewrite an article and put it on your website. But you still have to ask, what is the purpose of that article? The purpose of that article may be to inform your audience about some challenge that they have. An ebook has a different purpose. An ebook is to go more in depth into the actual content. And uh, you know, it, it's going to be something that you sell to your to your audience. A wallpaper will be something that you'd probably use on social media rather than just post it on your website. You could, and I'll show you what you could do um, as well with, with a wallpaper. But you always have to ask, what is the specific objective? Now, we have published um, a, a checklist that will actually help you rewrite the content that we have. And I'll be posting all these links um, uh, later on uh, in the live so that you can actually see, but we actually have a rewriting checklist. And if you're if you're anxious, you can uh, go to plr.me forward slash resources, but come back, come back, come back. Don't, don't leave us yet because there's so much uh, to talk about. So that's the fifth thing. Sorry, that's the fourth thing. Um, or the fifth, <laughs> I've lost count. Um, you also, if you wanna publish it on your website, 
Well, you need a tool that will help you see how different your rewritten content is to the original. And I, and I want to focus in on this just, um, uh, just in a little while. And the next thing you need is a touch of magic. Okay, so you need to insert your magic. Now let me just pause for a second, and I'm just going to ask you if you have any questions so far, and I'm going to look through some of the questions that have come up. Of course, I'm going to have a drink. Okay, so um, Allure Beauty Tips, do you have suggestions for people that want to start their own PLR business? No, because we supply PLR. We're not a company that tells you how to actually um, create PLR. Do you offer resale rights? No. Do you offer master resale rights? No. Um, our PLR is uh, PLR for you. And when you sell it to your client, your client only gets personal use rights. They don't get any other rights um, about that. Uh, abundantly developed roots. Uh, greetings from Stanford. Um, what are your thoughts on using the content in an app? Now, I assume that you mean uh, like a like an app that you might have on your phone, etc. I mean, that would be perfect because there's not going to be any problems with duplicate content. But let let's talk about this because this is the big. Um, this is the big elephant in the room, so to speak, that people talk about duplicate content. Now, what does duplicate content mean? Duplicate content means that you and somebody else or another website are producing the same content. And people are always people always ask us, well, won't that be a problem with PLR content? And we say no. If you make it your own, there is no problems because you are going to do a number of things, which I will um, tell you about, but you're going to do a number of things to make the content uh, different, okay? Um, and people say, well, if I'm using the same content, I'm not gonna get ranked in the search engines. Now, here is a big truth bomb. Getting ranked is super difficult. It's not just about the content. There's, I don't know how many other factors there are that Google takes into account to rank your content. But you know, if you come to me and you say, Richard, I wanna be ranked for what is goal setting. Well, unless your site is has been on the internet and has a lot of authority, I mean, a lot of people reference it, um, it has a lot of content on it, it's not gonna rank highly. So get over the idea of, using the content to rank in the search engine. That can be really difficult. I mean, what you should be focusing on, and I don't want to deviate too, too much into to SEO at the moment, but what you should be focusing on is ranking for local key terms, okay? Maybe, for example, um, um, time management specialists in London or time management specialists in uh, the East End of London. And you'll you'll be able to rank a little bit better for that than goal setting. Okay. So that's one of the, the first things that I say to a lot of people: look, use the content, change the content, and make it your own. So I see that Rob has said he's creating a physical book, time management and goal setting in a highly productive atmosphere. I would I would take a guess that uh, the basis of that, and Rob, uh, you, you can uh, 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 tell me if I'm right, that the basis of that is from PLR.me content. Now, if I go in and I Google that particular title, I'm probably not going to find that particular book because he has made it his own. Hey, Felicia, uh, how are you doing today? It's good to good to see you here. So what you want to be able to do is you want to think about your content. The first thing that you can do to make any of our content unique is to change the title and change the title focused on your niche. Goal setting for uh, executives, okay? Set your goals to become more fluent in English. Two completely different uh, articles, okay? The titles have changed. Um, add your own story or your own case studies. So I worked with um, a client to show him how to create creative goals in um, 
uh, in his work so that he could improve his English. And I add a case study in it, okay? Um, what about adding an image to your, uh, to, your, to your blog post or to a PDF that you may give out? Okay, so adding something in. What about asking a question? So give me your three top tips for uh, goal setting. I'll write down your top three tips for goal setting if it's on your blog. Okay, so you can make a lot of things. Okay, you can just change little things and make it your own. Now, this goes for articles, this goes for ebooks, this goes for slide decks. Remember, you get private label rights to the content and you can make it your own. The only two things that you cannot do with our content are you cannot put it on Amazon Kindle and you cannot pass rights to your buyers. Okay, so those are the two things that you cannot do. After that, you can slice and dice it and you can do whatever you want with it. Okay, so I'm going to start the uh, screen share. Um, and I'm going to uh, just open up the uh, screen here. And I'm just uh, working on two screens here. So I just want to uh, make sure that uh, everything is working here. And if there's any questions. Um, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is and, and do let me know um that you can actually see this on the screen um so this is from um this is from a blog which is from a guy who is really well known in the seo world okay so um you'll see he has a really nice uh, blog neil patel and he talks about the three myths of duplicate content. Always a difficult word, myths to, uh, to, to pronounce. Non-original content on your site will hurt your rankings across your domain, okay? Well, he has said, no, that's actually not 100% true, okay? Um, again, it depends on your site, but he says, no, that scrapers will hurt your site. Now, this, this won't be something that will, um uh, affect you but scrapers will be sites that would aggregate content so the likes of um monster.com that do uh, the job boards or any other job boards they scrape from other sites to put your job ads if you're a recruitment firm on their particular site um they have they have huge um authority and they are scraping content so they're using duplicate content so that that doesn't affect you and then we have republishing your guest post on your own site will hurt your site. And again, he says, no, there's techniques to do this, but he says, no, that is not going to affect. So you see, we can use, we can use this whole idea of the duplicate, duplicate content to stop ourselves and to sabotage ourselves a little bit and to stop ourselves from actually producing the content. I mean, I sometimes take articles from me. And I just copy and paste them. I don't make any changes and I put them on my website because I'm not looking to get ranked because I know who my audience are and I'm targeting my audience very specifically on the likes of LinkedIn, et cetera. And if they need, they can actually go to my site. There's absolutely no problems with that. But let's say you really want to go and use our articles as blog posts. I mean, that's a great idea. So what you can do is, you can actually go, uh, if you are a paid member, this is for paid members, okay? Um, you can go in, this is for monthly or for yearly members, and you can download our WordPress plugin. It only works on WordPress, but it is a plugin called Jupe Examiner. And it's a very simple plugin. Um, and again, as I said, this is for paid and for, um, uh, for, for paid members, for, for monthly and yearly members. So you have all of the instructions here, okay? And you have um, Advanced Ninja Tactics. You will also see there is a title rewriter template here that you can download. There's lots of uh, um, videos to help you there. Now, what happens? I go in and I'm gonna show you my WordPress website. And again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, so this is my WordPress uh, website. 
Um, I've already, I'm not going to spend time showing you how to install the plugin, but it's a very simple install. And you just log in giving your PLR.me credentials and it verifies that you are an actual paid member. Now, this is the original article that I put into the bottom part of PLR. Uh, uh, the PLR.me Jupe examiner. And then what I do is I start to rewrite the article up here. Let me just put it into visual mode here. I start to rewrite the article up here, okay? And when I want to see how different this article is from the original article, I can just go save draft and I see the changes here, okay? So it tells me how different is my content, okay? With stop words, so stop words would be small common words. Uh, without stop words like and and the, et cetera, it is 76% different than the original. And with stop words, it's 66%. Now, 60, 70% is a good um, uh, number to uh, percentage to, to aim for. And looking at that article, you wouldn't know it is the same article. And actually, what I did was, um, I've tweaked the article even more, but I actually took the original article and I actually reworked it. Oops, where's it gone? Uh, it's just here. I took the article, I reworked it. And then what I did was, I actually published it on LinkedIn as a goal setting article for um, human resource executives, which is the actual market that I, um, uh, I target, and it was about creating these progressive goals. Okay, so with the Jupe Examiner, what I would do is, um, let me just show you how it works. So uh, this, uh, let me see, this is something that so many people uh, don't realize. Okay, so I would type in some text here, then I would save it, and it may not change, but I would keep working through it until this goes up to 80% if I want it, okay? Sorry, he was not sure what had happened. Okay. So, so again, depending on the amount of words, this 76 and 66 will actually change, okay? But um, I would have to type in um, a lot more there. So that's the first thing that you can do. Um, change the title, target it for your market, focus on your niche, add your own stories or case studies, okay? Now, let me just take any questions here. Um, Esther has said, oh, wow, thank you. Okay, now remember, Esther, that uh, and everybody else, that this particular um, system is for WordPress. It is a WordPress plugin. Now, as I said, the way that I use the actual system, or our, our content is, I take the content, I think about my audience, my HR executives, and I say, how can I change this to help them achieve whatever goal or objective that I want? And what was the objective that I put on my article that I published on LinkedIn? Well, what I actually put in was, if you want to book a strategy call with me, um, please use the link below. So I made sure that the content was really good, really targeted for my market. And I said, okay, now I'm going to do a uh, call to action. So remember, you want to have a call to action. Now, I did a couple of other things with the actual uh, article. Um, and what I did was, if I just share my screen again here, and let me see, I'm going to share this Dropbox window here. You should see it here. And what I decided to do was, I decided that in order to make this article even better, I wanted to have extra material. Okay, so this is the original article, uh, Five Steps for Progressive and Greater Success. And this is the actual text file that comes up, okay? Um, I then decided, well, I would like to have a graphic in there. So I took a graphic and I'm gonna show you how to insert that graphic into uh, the actual article. 
And then I thought, well, what do I want people to do once they've actually read the article? So what I would do here is I would go in here and I would take, for example, a PDF here, which is a checklist or a lead magnet, um, but it's a checklist to help people determine their goals. Now, if you look at the flow of this, the article is read by my audience on LinkedIn or on um, Facebook or wherever my audience happens to be. I then have a, a, a nice image there as well. And at the end, I say, if you want to um, find out how to determine your goals for 2022, download my free checklist. So there's a very logical flow there from A to B to C, okay? But I decided to go one more step and I downloaded one of our reflective, uh, our uh, affirmation reflections so that I could put some questions in there. So let's just see what I actually did. And let me just change my screen sharing to my Chrome tab. And what I did here was I went down to the end and I actually put in self-reflection questions. Now these I just copied in. What are the three most important goals in my life? Because I talked about making sure that the goals will actually fit in with your life. How can I feel enthusiasm towards completing these goals? How would my success rate improve if I pursued my goals assertively and enthusiastically? Now, then I could put in a call to action, you know? Um, if you need help determining your goals, um, your goals, uh, make sure you download my free checklist. And then here, what I would do is I would have uh, a link that would maybe pop up with a little um, area where they could put in their email address, etc. Now, let me just save that draft. And the last thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a picture in here. Now, I could put the picture just under the second line there. Um, what I'm going to do, and you probably won't see this because it's just going to open up a new window, is I'm going to say Add Media. I'm going to upload a file, and I'm going to select one of the actual files that I had. And, yeah, and you'll see this now just in a second. Now, while I'm just doing this, um, any questions, put them in there um, in the chat. So I'm going to upload this image here. I'm going to insert it into the post. Okay, I might just make that bigger, okay. And I might actually, let me just uh, redo that because I'm not sure why it was actually so small. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into um, Add Media. And let me just check that. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna put this into uh, a larger size here and insert it into the post. So now I have that image. If I save this, I don't want to actually publish this, so I'm just going to do a uh, preview, and I think I'll just have to change my screen sharing because it's uh, uh, possibly going to open up in another window. So let me just change that for you so that you can see that. And if I just go in here to the uh, Chrome tab here, and we will see that I now have a new article there. Okay, so I have everything there. I can just change the formatting a little bit, follow the process, self-reflection questions. And here is, if you need help in determining your goals, make sure you download my free checklist. Okay, so what do you think of that so far? Tell me your comments. Tell me your thoughts on that. Um, did that seem very difficult to do? I mean, is that something that you think you could do by following a formula of you know, changing the title, focusing on your niche, having a specific objective. Is that something that you can do? Give me a yes, I can in the chat to show me that you can actually, you feel that you can actually do that because I think you can actually do that. I don't think you're going to have a problem uh, doing that. And what I also want to show you then is um, a free resource that we have which is uh, really, really useful um, for you. And I'm going to just um, get that link for you as well so that you can actually uh, see it. 
because it's a really um, uh, it, it, it's really useful what I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, okay, so Rob says sweet looks easy enough. Felicia Fel Felicia says sorry I stumbled there. It doesn't seem difficult. Uh, Bundly developed root says it's absolutely doable. Okay, Esther says. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. You now, if you guys uh, have seen Bob the Builder, because that's like Bob the Builder. Yes, we can, Bob the Builder says. Uh, I can do this. Okay. And we have Gabrielle that says, yes, I can do it as well. Okay. Ah, that's a lovely little comment there. You're a great teacher. Thank you. Well, thank you for that. And Jane says, yes, she can do it as well. Okay. So this is not difficult. You just need to think, okay, how am I going to, uh, how am I going to represent this content? I mean, what format? Do I want to have it as a blog post? Yes, I can. Uh, do I want to, well, I didn't even say that to you. That what you can actually do is you can decide, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the content and I'm going to rec record it as an audio. Now, if you were to record the content as an audio, it becomes completely unique because you have your actual voice, which makes you completely unique. Okay. Thank you. I agree. Wonderful teacher. I, I, I'll send you the money in the in the post later. Now, these are unsolicited comments. Don't worry. Uh, uh, we don't pay for our comments. But um, this is the idea. Now let me let me start to uh below your mind a little bit okay because what i want to show you now is i want to show you something that is going to really help you and i'm going to uh, to show you where you can find this just in a second um and this is our rewriting checklist because this is not difficult but what is difficult is to get into a consistent habit of taking content, rewriting it. I mean, once you start to do it, it becomes second nature. Once something is in motion, it becomes second nature. I mean, um, once you start posting every day on social media, it becomes second nature, okay? And this rewriting checklist shows you how to rewrite our content in seven minutes or less, okay? So um, it says go through the PLR.me content library. Skim through the resource to get a better feel for the flow and tone of what has been written. What do you like? What would you add? What would you change? Okay. Restructure the content to match your personal style as if it were you uh, speaking. Because, you know, that's one of the things as well that you can easily change the content by just getting a different tone of voice. Because our writers are fantastic. But you might say, well, that tone of voice doesn't resonate with my audience. So what you do is you just go and you actually write out the content in your tone of voice. And, and it could be as simple as that. Rewrite the title so it reflects a slightly different angle on the same material. So how do you create progressive goals? Creating step-by-step -step goals. The building blocks of creating great goals. You just change it. Now, I know you're asking, where did Richard get that amazing content uh rewriting checklist well if we go here and i'll just I'll, I'll put this into the uh, uh just on screen as well on the fly here okay so this um it it should come up now just uh in a second there uh, it's plr.me resources and this page is fantastic because we have the ultimate weekly content schedule. Wow, you're going to be able to know what to schedule. Uh, we have a free coaching magazine, which I'm I'm scripting out a video to show you how to use that. We have uh, the ultimate fill in the blanks webinar when we talk about webinars. 25 ways to use brandable PLR uh, content if you are struggling to find ideas. 34 fill in the blank headline templates. Like we're giving you so much here. Step-by-step -step rewriting checklist. And all you need to do is click on the resource and then it will actually just, um, you say, give me the rewriting checklist. 
And if you're not logged in, you will just have to log in or uh, set up an account and you will actually be able to then get uh, that particular resource. Okay, so you see it there. Okay, so I click on download now. It says, you know, if you have an, uh, an account already, log in and you can download that PDF. Did you know about the resource? Had you seen it? Have you used it? Okay, um, let me know. Um, there's a very interesting comment here from, from Rob. And Rob says, my PLR physical book is 177 pages, 85% unique. It's also an audio book, but not a Kindle book, okay? Because it can't be Kindle. But I would see if I can do it as a hardback and paperback. Now, here's the here's the interesting thing, that you can actually publish your content on, um, you can, just to make sure that you, you heard me right, on Amazon paperback. So you can create a paperback book on Amazon and there's no problems at the moment, at this point in time of December 16th, 2021. But you cannot put it on Amazon Kindle, okay? Um, and you know, there are tutorials there uh, online that will show you how to actually do that. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult than um, doing a Kindle book. And I think that's why they allow it to be on paperback because you have to put a bit more work in. So you wouldn't be able to put a, a thousand of these books up for sale in 10 minutes like you might be able to do with uh, a Kindle if you are so inclined. Um, okay, so I want your questions. I want you to um, tell me your your questions, your thoughts um, about this. Has it made a difference, do you think? I mean, are you suddenly saying, ah, that's, that's interesting. And while I just give you a chance just to uh, have a quick think about that, I will take a... So, um, and by the way, it's not just the jumper that I actually look different in it, just in case you're wondering, it's the beard. I kind of got it dyed and uh, decided for Christmas, I would get it dyed just to be all Santa Claus. Um, well, Rob has said, and this is our aim, Rob, you don't know how much this means to me. All of your trainings improve my use of your sites uh, and of our resources. But this is the, you know, this is the thing. Think about the possibilities of what you can do with the content. Now, let me just go through the six ingredients again that you need. You need to have great content. You need to have a well-defined niche or niche. You need to have a specific objective that you want from the piece of content. So Rob may say, the objective of my paperback is to build my authority, to be able to say that I have a book published on Amazon and within that book, a call to action to reach out to uh, Rob if you want to um, do some training, etc. You need to use our checklist, our rewriting checklist, just to get the cognitive ideas flowing. If you want to put it on your website, I would recommend the Tube Examiner if you have a WordPress website so that you can do um, a check between the original document and your document and then inject that touch of magic. Now, what is the touch of magic? Change the title, change the angle, um, focus it in on the, on the pain points that your niche has, okay? Add your own stories and case studies, okay? So that, you know, I worked with John creating goals and he had done the traditional New Year's resolutions and it wasn't working. And when he discovered progressive goals, it was like, wow. And now he is, you know, um, has, a, has a happier life, okay? Um, put in an image or change the images on our eBooks or, or put an image into one of our articles and make sure that you ask questions. Um, get people involved in the content. I mean, you know, what are your five top goals? What might hold you back? Um, how have you, uh, how has it been in the past that you haven't reached your goals? Get people thinking while they're reading and then hit them with your call to action. If you answered 
uh, you know, yes or no, or you weren't sure of the answers to any of these questions, download my free goal setting template. Oh, okay, I'm going to do that. Because again, people are more inclined to take action because they are in the actual mindset of it's time to take action. Um, when you think about it, let's go to the, the traditional model that is often um, talked about in fast food restaurants, in McDonald's. Would you like to supersize your order? I'm, I'm really hungry and you know, for a dollar extra or two dollars extra, whatever it is, they're going to give me more food. Yeah, I'm ready to actually buy the uh, super size. Now, if you had already come in after lunch and you wanted just a coffee and they say, do you want to super size that with a Big Mac and a, and a large fries? You're probably going to go, no, because I'm full. So you need to put the offer in front of people at the right time. Okay. Um, okay. Um, you know, here's, here's another heartwarming comment of, you know, this has made a huge difference. We're a virtual holistic center and the PLR content has allowed me to develop enough, enough content to start the app with helpful topics that our coaches can use. So again, our content can be a catalyst to get you thinking, or as I said, developing an app, or what about going and creating uh, a membership site? I mean, if you have a membership site, then there's no worries that Google are going to if you believe that they're going to penalize you, well, they can't get into your membership site. And again, please, please, please don't think, what am I going to do? Because everybody else is using this content. Because the fact of the matter is that the people who have success with our content just do a little bit of work to change it. And that's it. But I'm lazy. And sometimes, as I said, I don't change the content. I just put them up on my website because I'm directing people to that particular website in order for them to uh, read the content. And I know these people are not going to overthink it and see, oh, that content's been on somebody else's website. Oh, I'm going to check to see if that content's been published before. So don't worry about that. Um, coming back to Rob, several calls to action in his ebook using links that I completely control. Um, so don't use links that. Uh, you have no control over my niche is creating businesses so again you know this is what you can do if for example abundantly developed routes um, you have your app you could put links into items that you promote maybe if it's about meditative cushions maybe if it's about meditative music you have links to that and you send people to that um but the key is to a very defined niche. I mean, I've I've had I've talked to clients, and I say, "What is your niche?" And they again they say, "You know, I help women become more confident." And I say, "Okay, but that's not really. I mean, niche is your confidence, but delve a bit deeper. You know, drill down, and then find your audience." So, you know, I help um, women who are between the ages of forty-five to fifty-five um, going through the menopause who have had kids are now separated to I feel more confident. Wow, okay. Now, I know, I know, I know you're thinking, but hold on a second, then I'm excluding like millions of people. But no, if you become known as this coach for middle-aged women who want more confidence after separation, people will find you and people will recommend you, okay? Um, Regina, it is so good to see you. I hope you are doing well and you're progressing well in all your endeavors. Um, how do you change the cover images to the PLR eBooks? Uh, one word, Canva, okay? Go to canva.com and create a new image. Now, the other thing that I say to people is, if you can't create a new image, I mean, if you're graphically challenged like, like I am, well then what you can do is, you could hire somebody on Fiverr to go and create the image for you, okay? And you could, you know, you could put out the project or you could contract somebody and say, I'm looking for, and that is like this, like this, like this, with my logo, with my picture here, and then say, what I want to do is, uh, I want you to upload that to Canva. And I think, you know, they could create in Canva and then share it to you. And then what you can do is, you can ensure that, 
uh, you use that like as a template image because then you can have consistency across your brand. Now, that's another thing that's really important is consistency. I mean, if you're going to publish articles on social media, you're going to produce ebooks on a monthly basis, be consistent and do it every month. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little sort of roll call and see if there's any other questions because that's what I wanted to show. I think there's a lot of information that we've actually uh, put in here, and I will um, I will put all the links in on the on the replay um, as well. But the point of this questions and answers was to show you that with a little bit of magic which isn't really magic because I've given you the six steps, you can change our content to become completely unique. And one of the things actually that um, I'm not sure I have to talk with Ronnie to see whether with the Christmas coming up, I'm not sure whether we'll do a uh, questions and answers next week. We have to see because obviously next Thursday will be the 23rd. Um, if you're like me, you may be panicking trying to get those last minute gifts before everything closes down. I mean, you have to buy like three weeks worth of food because everything closes down for one or two days. Uh, it's quite crazy. Um, but we may not do it on the 23rd. The 30th, I believe I'm on vacation. I have to ask the boss. And uh, no, that's not Ronnie, that's my wife. <laughs> I have to ask my wife where we are because I think we are going away for, uh, or we're going away that day for a couple of days. So we could possibly, we may take a break of, of of two or three weeks because as well the sixth of um the sixth of January is a really special um day here in um in Spain and for many it'll be called Little Christmas. Um for others they 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 call it the Epif is it the Epiphany? I think it's the Epiphany. Um but over here it's the, the celebration of the three kings if the three kings come. And this is the big celebration where uh, we exchange presents and that. So the, the night of the 6th is a very family um, orientated night. So I, I probably won't be available that. Uh, Rob has said, where is that page with all those great tools? Okay, so the page with the resources is uh, plr.me forward slash resources. Um, and the tools that you will actually get for plr.me are going to be at plr.me forward slash tools. You can actually, when you log in on the menu, you will actually see the tools menu there. Um, Paul, thank you for your support. Paul has said, this is super easy peasy. Now remember, if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments uh, below. And then what I'll be able to do is I will review and the team will review your questions and come back to you. So I'll take another um, sup of water. I will then answer any final questions and then I'll let you go and uh, do what you need to do. If it's Christmas shopping, do send me a gift. Don't forget. <laughs> Buy something for me. Don't forget. And, you know, we will be continuing these questions and answers. Um, if you have any questions, actually, that's something that I didn't tell you that if you do have any questions um, and you haven't already availed of this, um, whether you're a free or a paid member, you can actually book a call and talk to me, Richard Santa Claus Butler, uh, if you wish. <laughs> um, you can you can talk to me. Uh, we can talk about a strategy plan. We can talk about different um, things that you may want to uh, know about, about the different plans that we have, etc. Right now, I think I'm probably booked up until Christmas. And then with the time off, we'll be uh, about two weeks that I won't be doing calls. But certainly, if you want to book something in for January, uh, let me know. If you have any questions, uh, reach, out, reach out to me through there. Um, or leave, you know, uh, leave a comment and I will also get back to you. Or come to our chat desk and I will talk to you there. Okay, any final questions, guys? Okay, well, not a question, but abundantly developed roots says, thank you for all the great information, Richard. Enjoy your holidays. Blessings, D. Thank you, D, so much. Uh, Regina, thank you, Richard. I will reach out to you soon, Regina. Uh, I'm looking forward to to uh, talking to you soon. Um, 
And guys, that is that is the end of our questions and answers. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like maybe I should do one by the fireside because today I've been talking really calmly and I uh, I thought, you know, yeah, maybe I could do by the fireside and I could have my pipe and my cup of tea. <laughs> that could be quite interesting. Um, and Rob says, okay, see you in three weeks. Yeah, keep an eye on your email because I just need to check in, as I say, with the real boss. I have to check in with my wife. And uh, see when she wants uh, when she wants me to take the time off. But I th I, I think it could be tricky. Maybe possibly we will have one uh, next week. I, th I think next week we could possibly have one. We 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 could do that, and then we'll just take a break for the uh, following uh, couple of weeks. So as I said, we may do one on the twenty third, and then we won't have one on the thirtieth or the sixth. Uh, happy holidays to you, Regina, and everybody else. And I think we may talk next week, but keep an eye on your email. Uh, make sure that you've liked our channel. Make sure that you subscribed, and I'll talk to you very soon. And have a ho, 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 happy holidays.